Hey y'all, it's sunshine. Alrighty, another hot day in Texas. It's not as hot as it has been. We're still in the high 90s, but at least we're not 103, 107. Right, right. So, I have made some serious progress on my Ruana. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's R-U-A-N-A. R-U-A-N-A. If I'm not saying that right, somebody correct me. Because uh, somebody needs to be in charge of this. <laughs> Miss Beth, where are you at, honey? <laughs> so. Miss Beth is smart. She'd be taking a nap under the AC. It is hot, y'all. It is hot. All right, here's where we're at. I've got a panel done. See the panel? And now I'm working on the other panel. And it will be, it will be, um, come on brain, work with me. I'll trim it in purple. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Cause I don't wanna do navy. I like the purple and our church colors are white and purple so yes because all the shirts and the, the logos and stuff is white and purple so I was like you know what that's a great idea let's do that and then I was cleaning I know I'll never find what I need to find anymore because once I clean then I can't find anything most people walk in this room and be like holy Holy heck, you're a mess. Yes, I'm a mess, but I can tell you where everything's at. You clean it up. I don't know where everything's at, but I found something that I've been missing for several months now, and I'm ready to take on the world again with it. Hear that? I think that gives you a hint. This guy. Yes, my two inch acrylic ruler square because I, I can't afford another ruler and I wasn't going to go buy one because I couldn't afford it. I know that's sad, right? Sad. Pathetic. I can't even afford a leather thimble to finish to work on my... I'm just going to have to buckle up and just hurt my fingers because... Getting a leather thimble is just not going to happen anytime soon. And, um, like I said, some months I do good, and then some months I have severe financial problems. It doesn't help that my SUV seems to be taking a lot of gas. I don't know why. I, I don't understand why. Because I don't go anywhere except for the city to do doctor's appointments or I go to the next town over, which is only five minutes away. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. So anyway, uh, we have an update for Miss Becky. She said dad is home and um, it's up to him whether he wants to get better or he just wants to lay there and just let it go. So Thank you for, she said, to tell y'all, thank you for every single prayer. Whether you made the comment that you're praying or whether you just have come, prayed in the background. Everybody that has prayed and wished her well, done good juju, whatever it is, she really appreciates you and thanks you. Because um, without that, she said it could have been really bad. And um, from what I'm gathering, Dad's a stubborn old mule. So we'll see how the next outcome comes out. But um, I'm thankful for y'all because y'all really support the people in this group. I don't want to call it a group, but we are kind of a group. We are, yeah, we're, we're, I'll call it that. Um, because when somebody's down or hurting, we make it happen. We make prayers happen or we you know, gift gifts if we can. And it's just, 
just amazing and my head hurts um just super amazing I, I i couldn't ask for a better group just really couldn't i i'm so blessed i'm so blessed that's all i'm gonna say i don't want to get into everything but I'm, I'm really blessed and just so thankful So, anyway, I think what I'm going to do is get another frame. I have another frame and start and put it on the Hershner's project because I really want to work on it. I really do. And um, so, yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be a good day. If you're not confused, let me see if I've got it right here on the top. Sorry, guys. This is what I want to work on. So, I'm in the top corner right now. And I think I'm going to have to do the, um, back stitch as I go because I didn't realize how much back stitch was involved in all of this y'all know I'm the queen of I hate back stitch I genuinely utterly hate back stitch I have no desire for it in my life does it make your projects look a lot better yep and skippy do I have the patience for it nope nope so anyway that is it for today. Um, hope y'all have a great weekend. Be safe. There was a massive accident last night and the one car caught on fire. They were been drinking. One lady went to the hospital and died at the hospital. And it's just heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. She lived a good life, I guess, because she was 70. So I don't know if she did or not, but Hopefully she knew Jesus. That's all I can say. As I pray that she knew him as her personal Lord and Savior. And if not, then I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to go to heaven. I am so excited. <laughs> I hate to be like that. I'm ready to go. Like tomorrow, if it came down to it, I'm ready. I know where I'm going. And, um, I can't wait to see my family. I can't wait to meet all the celebrities that I love. Chris Ledoux, Lane Frost, Ouncey. Ouncey just died. Um, his wife shot him. Talk about crap. Utter crap. What, what has he done so wrong that you feel like you got to shoot him? Dang, woman. Whoa. Anyway, Ouncey is called Ouncey because he was an ounce. A one pound, one ounce when he was born. So, and he's a, um, he still, he was still little. He was still very little. Bull rider. He was a lightweight bull rider. And um, was good at it. He was good at it. So, I can't wait to see all the, the bull riders that have passed. Because I, I follow it pretty okay. And um, I'm just ready to see everybody. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, whoa, whoa. So, um, I know this turned into a little preaching thing, and I'm sorry for that because I know some of y'all don't feel the same way I do, but I've been where you've been. Y'all remember I've denied, denied, denied for several years, if not longer. And um, it's so good. To, to finally pull my head out of my butt and, and do the right thing. So, anyway, I need to go cut me some fabric because we're going to do this. I love, oh, you want to know why I'm cutting fabric this much? This with a certain size? I really, really want to make a postage stamp quilt. And I want to make it like queen size. 
or at least start cutting it out so when I die that my daughter, if she wants to take over, will know what's going on. She'll be like, all you gotta do is cut them this size. And I may do a ton of cutting so that I have a ton to go with. Thinking that. So I need to work on baby girl's quilt because May will be here in no time. And I want to make sure she gets it for graduation. So y'all take care. I love you guys. And um, just be careful this weekend. Take care. Okay. All right. Bye guys.